How are you? And welcome to another unboxing here on my channel, Angry Hero 79. Uh, that is me. I'm the Angry Hero. Thanks for being here. Uh, you get to join me today as I open up a 1994 Legends of Batman Catwoman. So this I just picked up the other day. Fully intact. I purchased this from Mile High Comics. Just now it's uh, not just uh seven days ago i am a big fan of not so much catwoman but the jim ballant version of catwoman jim ballant was the artist on catwoman uh for a good chunk of time back in the 90s in the early 90s and uh his version of catwoman was very influential to me as a young man as a young teenager who uh was figuring stuff out and uh enjoying uh comic books at the same time i i've always wanted to get a, a version of this as a figure so i saw this for 15 bucks and i mean you can't really go wrong and it's in mitten package you know mitten mitten on card so at least i know that everything's supposed to be there and it's not dinged up so we're gonna go ahead and open this just want to point out uh, on the screen behind me i've got toxic crusaders from the uh, uh sega genesis version playing here it's an all right game it's a little bit clumsy. You can't really be too disappointed in what you get. I mean, they're just trying to put something out. So, but let's get this open. As you can see on the front here, Legends of Batman. Nice uh, standard line here, which uh, it it has, an exi has a little blurb in the back here. So I guess I could best just describe it this way. Uh, History of Batman. History of Legends of Batman. The Legends of Batman have always existed and always will throughout the history and into the distant future. Inspired by the timeless DC Comics, the Legends of Batman action figure collection features the dark hero, dark superhero as he's never been seen before, stronger and more muscular, battling crime throughout time. Crime throughout time. Yeah, there's a few versions of characters in here that uh mostly just Batmans, but as you can see on the back here, point out you know there's some uh, very different different characters to, to speak of here uh, but let's look at the front real quick as you can see you got Catwoman Selena Kyle she comes in the package here and then she's got her accessories which appears to be a grappling hook and some sort of gimmick that allows to uh, goes on her back which we'll, we'll point out in a second as well as the net the interweb that she uses and then she also comes with a card which we'll, uh, we'll check out as well. It's officially Catwoman with the Quick Climb Claw and Capture Net. Official's collector's card. Official collector card. I believe it was like 93 that book came out. So it's just about like a year old, year into the run. A year into this uh, version of Catwoman. I did want to point out that this is from Kenner. So this is definitely old school. Old school Kenner material here. So, uh, you know, before they were bought up by Hasbro. Kind of wouldn't mind seeing what these characters would have looked like as Marvel characters, not so much the Toy Biz versions. I often wonder about that. You know, you have versions of character, of, uh, you know, the D there was a DC Toy Biz line, but it was before Toy Biz meant anything. And once they kind of got, in, got into a groove with all the X-Men figures, you know, it would have been nice to see, you know, how the DC figures would have panned out. Mostly, you probably would have had a lot of Supermans and Batmans, probably some, probably a few Wonder Womans, and probably a lot of the extreme heroes of the day. Probably would have gotten some uh, some unique characters because around at this time, DC was just you know they had the Total Justice line, which kind of dipped it a bit into the some of the other characters in the Marvel in the in the DC universe, but we didn't get uh, we didn't get a whole lot, you know until we you know got until Mattel took over the line. Before we open this though I wanted to read the back here. Actually just point out the back of the card. So it's, uh, Catwoman Selena Kyle aka has crossed Batman's path many times, both as an enemy as an uneasy and as an uneasy ally. The most daring Dotham City cat burglar does her best to outwith both good and evil. With an agile body, she climbs buildings to enact her crimes. With a crack of her whip, she greets her frantic, neck-captured victims. So, as you can see back here, it tells us that we are going to uh, be snapping this uh, 
block thing onto her waist, and that allows her to use her grappling hook, which the grappling hook can hook onto things, you know, ledges or whatnot. I don't really have any ledges here, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. But uh, the net, pretend to catch another figure by throwing the net over him. We'll see if that works. Uh, and as you can see on the side here, we've got some selections from the line here. We got ourselves a Arctic looking version of the uh, silver Batmobile, which uh, you know, I wonder if that's actually any good. You know, like I kind of, I mean, it looks looks kind of neat. Neat. And then we've got uh, Cyborg Batman with uh, missiles and other gimmicks. We got our Catwoman here. We got a Joker. Crusader Batman, who just looks like regular ass Batman, but he's got a weird yellow gun. We've got Night Quest Batman or Azrael, uh, but a but a uh, orange red version of him, not so much the uh, the Nightfall version of him. So maybe I guess the Night Quest version had this orange costume. I guess we have Nightwing, and then well, man, we got a lot of stuff here, here going on here. We've got uh, Power Guardian Batman, who just looks like Batman with a sword. And he's holding a shield very awkwardly. Dark Rider Batman, who comes with a horse. But that looks actually looks pretty cool. The figure itself looks pretty cool. And then we also have the Bat Cycle, which I think looks like garbage. That that's a shitty looking Bat Cycle. And then last but not least, we have Future Batman, who looks a lot like uh, Night Quest Batman, but just uh, you know less bulkier armor. So. But let's get this open. Try not to damage the uh, this card in here. Because apparently cards are back in fashion, guys. If you're a collector, people are people are getting getting hot for them again. So here's the card. It is. Uh, does it say? Does it say here who drew this? It wasn't Jim Ballant. Know that, but. Uh, this says 1995 on the card, even though, according to Figure Realm, it comes out in 94. So, I am confused. But the thing on the back here, basically, is just a repeat of the stuff I just read about the Legends of History of, uh, the History of the Legends of Batman, as well as, uh, the Catwoman gimmick. But it's a Skybox card. So, you know it's fancy if it's a Skybox card. So, there you go. Another bookmark for me. So let's start with the figure. Selena Kyle right here. Very basic figure. Uh, but pretty good detailing for whatever she's got going on with her costume here. Looks a little bit wide for me. I don't know. Just in terms of the body structure. But then again, you know, if it was if it was super thin, I'd probably be complaining too. Her stance looks like she's going to have to be putting a foot forward because she has like this flat foot on the front here. Let's see if it actually works. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, look at this. Not a lot of traction on this feet these feet here. And you kinda have to give a get a base base going here. This is this is not optimal. Okay, I got it. Not a good uh no it's, it's he definitely seems like a good uh yeah. See? She is not sturdy. She is not dimple and quick like her namesake. This figure is uh, extremely uh, awkward. But I do want to point out, she does have her whip. Which, uh, she does come with her whip. I forgot to point that out too. But she has a, a, a whip device that she comes with. And it's also molded to the side of her uh, her hip here. Or maybe it's just a, it's another weapon of some sort that I'm, I'm not understanding. So she doesn't have any action features uh, other than not being able to stand. She can hold her whip. It's a good, thick... The whip actually is... I think the whip is actually pretty... Uh, pretty well constructed. It's pliable. And uh, it's got a thicker base for her to hold it in her hand so it just doesn't fall through. There's this one uh, Catwoman that I have that uh, is not... has has one of those whips... And uh, it doesn't, it doesn't hold very well. It's kind of a thinner, thinner whip. So, in this case, I think we've actually got a got ourselves a, a winner. Yeah, check that out. 
So let's go ahead though and see if this uh, action, this gimmick works. Her deal here is this thing is already kind of attached to her, her thing. I was gonna about to say it's not very long, but as I unspool it, that is. Let's see how long this is. This is actually very long. I mean, long for for what it is. I'd say this is about. 30, 40 inches. I mean, that's... Maybe, probably less, obviously. Because this is about... Okay, maybe... I mistake myself. I should probably uh, take that back. Probably at least two, two in, uh, 24 inches. So about two feet. Not bad. And it goes back and forth. This is kind of like the Spider-Man uh, web glider. Or web... I think it's, yeah, web glider that has this set up like this so you can zip it's like a zip line so as you can see here i'm going to attach selena to this not crazy about this uh waist thing it's a little loose so i can't really see how this will uh unless if let's see here i had her captured or stuck in between there See how well this goes. So she could... Yeah. yeah that's not terrible. And she actually, once that's unfortunately kind of neat here, is you have it so you can attach this to maybe like a pole. You can attach this part to a pole and just have her go up and down the building that you're playing with. And here's the grappling hook. I could see this probably being a good thing to hook onto. It's not three pronged. It's pretty I have it see, I have it hooked up to this. <laughs> How about that? Not a bad situation here. And of course, last but not least, we have this net here. Looks like it's a bit weighted on the side on the ends here, so that's good on the corners. And here's the here's the, the um what's his face the Nightwing from this collection uh, I've I had this back in the day and I bought this again fairly recently not fairly recently it's been a while but uh, I I like I just like the way it looks I kind of wish I had the yellow part to go over here and kind of make it complete but uh, I don't know he was actually very cool because if you would play with him back in the day you could wrestle with him and he could do sweet suplexes. So, you know, you can have him, like, I don't know. There you go. Bam! Make sure you post. But yeah, there's your, there's your Nightwing. Let's see how this net looks. Well, that didn't do anything. It's on him, but it doesn't look like it actually, uh is impeding his progress, to be honest. I think the net probably could have been a bit bit longer, a bit bigger, to really, uh, I mean, because I mean, really, what else, I mean, are, are you going to capture, like, small PVC figures or something like that with this? I mean, that's pretty much all you can do. But uh, that is Catwoman, the Legends of Batman Catwoman from 1994 or 1995, wherever you want to pick it. Uh, it was probably in the stores at 95. But Catwoman, as done by Jim Ballant, in my opinion, the best Catwoman. And the stories weren't bad either. So go back and check those out if you ever get around to doing it. But thanks for being here today. Uh, find me on Twitter. I'm at Angry Hero Sean, as well as Instagram at Angry Hero Sean. You can find myself and my wife, Jen, on our podcast worst collection ever where we talk about books like catwoman from the 90s and a whole bunch of other stuff we have a lot of fun there just beating up on comics because well why not somebody's got to do it and then uh please rate review and subscribe to this channel and like this video if you dig it and share it and uh, i guess click that notification bell to get more videos from me i try to post them at least once a week on saturdays or something like that if i can and uh, keep the content rolling and uh, having some fun here, buying some old figures and uh, doing some uh, unboxings. So 
And also playing some old video games here on these screens here. I gotta actually play some video games as I point to it and it's completely black. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Stay safe out there.